Luke McFarlane says Netflix paycheck was smaller than earnings from Hallmark Channel. Luke McFarlane is spilling the tea about his holiday movie earnings, including whether Netflix or Hallmark Channel paid better. You were in, single all the way on Netflix, was the paycheck bigger, than Hallmark? Daniel Tosh asked McFarlane, 43, during a recent episode of his Tosh Show podcast. McFarlane succinctly replied, smaller. The actor, who played Michael Urie's love interest in the 2021 Netflix holiday film, has been a Hallmark staple since 2015. Earlier this year, McFarlane appeared in Notes of Autumn and Catch Me If You Claws. So, I've had, like, sort of overall deals with, Hallmark where, I'm gonna commit to five Christmas movies or five movies, but I can't work for any other networks and they can't be holiday-related movies, McFarlane explained, noting he could sign on to single all the way at the time because that was outside of my deal. After host Tosh, 48, asked if Hallmark pays well, McFarlane nodded and confirmed that his rate goes up for successive projects. It is a nice thing, McFarlane added before dropping a surprising truth about network residual checks. They have to air a certain amount of time before you start getting any money. As you know, they air them a lot. So, if you end up doing one of the ones that hits and is popular, it gets aired more and more. So, you eventually get residuals. Tosh specifically asked if McFarlane has seen any residuals come in for 2018 Say Shoe Addicts Christmas, a movie he made with Candace Cameron Bure. I don't know if I've gotten any, McFarlane coyly added. Elsewhere in the podcast episode, McFarlane noted that he was nervous to work with Cameron Bure, 47, for the first time in a shoe addict's Christmas. But, she could not have been more lovely, he added. Cameron Bure was another Hallmark mainstay before she opted to leave the network for Great American Media. In a November 2022 interview with Wall Street Journal magazine, the Full House alum praised her new TV home's commitment to showcasing traditional marriage on screen. Hallmark has since featured more LGBTQIA couples in its yearly film slate. Cameron Bure, who has frequently stressed her conservative values over the years has since apologized for her comments.